All right, so today we're going to learn how to make a copy and uh, a cut and paste activity into a actual drag and drop activity. So in order to do that, we're going to need our snipping tool or screenshot, PowerPoint um, presentation, and an actual PDF or worksheet that you're going to be using. So the worksheet that I'm going to be using is this sorts of sort the matter worksheet with solid liquid and gases and in class the students will usually be able to cut it and paste it into the correct location but since we are virtual i'm going to do another way that we can do a actual clip and paste activity so in order to do that we're going to first screenshot the first half of our page here Then we're going to screenshot the actual word bank. After we screenshot those, we're going to go over to PowerPoint. Once you go to PowerPoint, we're going to first insert our first uh, picture, the first half picture, which is the picture that they would actually have to use to do the actual drag and drop. And from here, you once you get it there, the picture format is going to come up. And you're going to just go ahead and change this to 8 by 11. And then it's going to change on our actual um, screen. So from here, we have uploaded the uh, actual copy-paste activity. So now I'm going to actually insert the actual word bank. So after I insert the word bank, I'm going to then, in order to do, uh, insert the word bank, I'm sorry. In order to insert the word bank, we're going to actually click, click the actual original picture of the second half. And we're going to have to actually um, snip to or screenshot each of our words. And I have already did that, but I'm just going to show the example for a couple. And so as we see, we see them all along um, my side here of my actual screen. So I'm going to go back to my PowerPoint presentation and I'm going to insert those words. And so I'm going to, uh, of course, insert the uh, picture from file and I'm going to upload these here words. So I'm just going to upload a couple of the words just so we can have an example of what we're going to actually do. And all of it is going to come up like this, but we can just simply click out of it and just drag each word. And you can resize the words if you want to. But I'm just going to drag these words apart, put them all the uh, over the page. I have two markers. I'm going to undo that one. Juice, steam, oxygen. Airplane, I'm gonna scoot you over some socks, all right. So we have have we have our words up. So now we're gonna save it. So as when we save it, we're gonna make sure we save it under OneDrive Matter Sorting. Is what I'm gonna save it is. Make sure we save it under OneDrive. After we save it, we're going to go to our Microsoft Teams. We're gonna click Assignments and then create an assignment. From there, you're going to do your usual, your title. You're gonna add your resource. But instead of adding it from class, notebook, you're going to stay in OneDrive. And you're going to find your actual file. And I just really wish it was an easier way to do this. Like, so I matter sorting, I'm going to attach it. And once we're attaching it, we're going to see where it says 
students can't edit. And so from there, we're going to go over to the three dots and we're going to change it to students edit their own copy. And so that means that each student will individually be able to edit their own. Once you do that, you can assign the assignment. So from here now, I'm going to show you how the student view will actually look. All right, so we are um, on our students page. So we're gonna view the assignment. When we view the assignment, we're gonna click my work so the file can post, um, can upload. From here in the corner, we're gonna hit that um, pin inside of the square so we can edit, be able to edit. And from here, we're going to be able to just drag our words. So we're going to just hold our words and drag it under the correct activity. You can uh, make it smaller under the correct category. I mean. And it might be a little tricky at first for the kids, so you have to let them know that they have to literally um, push down on it and drag it, not just click it. Like, they have to literally click on it and hold it to drag it. See, like, for instance, there, I picked my hand up a little bit. If y'all could have actually seen it. <laughs> but y'all can't, huh? So, after your students do that, they will go here. They will exit out of it. Go back to their teams. Um, and hit turn in. And it will have edited it um, in their PowerPoint application. From there, we can go back to the students, to the teacher's view. Back to the teacher view, we go to the actual activity, turned it in. We would have been able to see what this student did. Great, this student worked. Great job. Blah, blah, blah. Return it to them. And y'all, that is how we can do an actual copy paste activity on Microsoft Teams. All right, you guys, this virtual school is getting a little bit easier, but I mean, it is very much more, more work than in person. So, you guys, hopefully we will be back in person soon. But honestly, y'all, I kind of like virtual. I'm not going to even lie. So, hopefully we can probably progress with times and the students can be able to choose either in person or virtual. But other than that, I, I will see y'all next time.